Hey, what's up guys? It's Nizam Harjo here and welcome to my video. I'm just going to share with you a quick tips on how to actually uh, change from having an employee mindset to a business owner mindset. Or in other words, how to unlock your millionaire mind. Now here's the thing. Uh, we are taught in our education system to get good results. To study hard and get good results and get straight A's if possible and eventually ended up working as professionals, okay? uh, working as a lawyer, doctors, architects, engineers. Okay? We are trained to be professionals but we are not trained to be generalists. We are not trained to be a business people, to be a successful entrepreneur. And that's the problem here that you need to understand. In our school days or, or universities or college days, we are taught to be mentally and logically educated. We are not taught to be emotionally educated. Now, that is where the problem comes in. When we are not taught to be emotionally educated, what will happen is that we will fear. We'll have that fear of taking action. We'll have that fear of achieving success outside of the system that most people are trapped into. Okay? We are taught to be successful, but successful as a specialist, successful uh, working and climbing the corporate ladder. And that's the reason why we are so afraid of starting our business. We are so afraid of taking action and uh, getting started with our business. Okay? And especially in online business, a lot of people are so afraid of losing money and so afraid of, of not achieving success and not having to generate enough uh, and be able to get to where they want to. Okay. When you're not emotionally educated, fear will paralyze you. Okay. I repeat again, fear will paralyze you. Now here's the thing, when you start studying in schools, okay, uh, when we were young, Okay. We are taught to get good results and we will be punished of, of making mistakes. And that's the reason why a lot of A students, uh, they get A's for making the least amount of mistakes. Okay. They don't get A's for making a lot of mistakes. But on the other hand, it's so much different in the real world. And the reason being is because those who succeed, those who have achieved, and achieve their financial freedom and true wealth is those who make the most mistakes. Okay, and that's the reason why sometimes you find it hard for uh, people who achieve good results to actually get out of their mindset because they, they hardly make mistakes. Okay, they are trained to do everything perfect and good, get good results, get the right answers, and make the least amount of mistakes in order to get the results. But it's different because let me give you an example uh, Thomas Edison. Okay. He invented an uh, electric light bulb. Okay. But before he did that, he was criticized for his thousands of experiments. Okay. And he failed. But how did he achieve success? Okay. Because of his mindset. Now the thing here is, he believed that he did not fail thousand and fourteen times. Okay. He did not fail a thousand and fourteen times. But he successfully found out a thousand and fourteen ways that did not work. Whenever they fail, they learn from failures. And fail doesn't stop them from achieving. Fail doesn't stop them from taking action every time. Now, here's the thing, okay? We have two different mindsets that we need to understand here. The first thing is poor mindset, and the next thing is the success mindset. It's uh, financial independence and, and wealthy mindset. Now, uh, a lot of people, including me, used to have this kind of poor mindset where we want to become rich, but we want to. But we are not committed to become rich. We are not committed to wealth, okay? So we don't take the right action. 
what we need to do is we need to condition and recondition our mind for maximum success because that is indeed very very critical okay we need to identify and get rid of the limiting belief that holds us back in business you may be think about you want to give enough education to your kids you may think about you want to give uh, enough you know you want to go for a holiday and stuff like that but you don't think beyond that you don't think of adding values to as many people out there so these are the things that when you change it will get to where you want to be you will achieve financial freedom and you will achieve financial success when you are there.